two very common visual artifacts in games are visible texture tiling when far away and blurry textures when up close. There are a variety of techniques to solve these, but I invented, I was not the first, a solution that solves both of these with only one extra texture lookup. I call it fractal UVs, as it renders a self-similar surface with infinite detail as you zoom in. You implement it as follows. Take the binary logarithm of the distance to the surface. I'll explain why shortly. Take the floor of that value, and then modulate by 2. This creates bands which we will use to scale the texture differently. If we didn't take the binary logarithm, these bands would bunch up when far away, but with the logarithm, they are nicely perceptually spaced. Create the two UV scales which will be used. We use 2 to the power of the floor distance to cancel out the logarithm. The UV scales alternate based on if we're in a black or white ping pong band. To get a blending factor, we take the fraction of the log distance, which creates a gradient from 0 to 1 in each band. This is then inverted in every other band. Now we have everything we need. Sample a texture twice, once with each UV coordinate, and interpolate them by the blending factor. We now see infinite texture detail as we zoom in or out. There are a couple of additional features which I find invaluable. A scale constant lets you control the overall size of the texture. A minimum scale can be added if you don't want the texture to continue shrinking forever at small distances. There are some limitations to this technique. It only works with fairly noisy, fractal-like textures, and it will be obvious what's happening if you use something with regular features. Good applications are natural surfaces like concrete, dirt, grass, rock, etc. There is also some fading or shimmering visible depending on the texture and how fast you move the camera. Overall, fractal UVs are an easy and effective way to texture large surfaces without having to worry about where the player will see them from. I used them in Vertigo 2 for large concrete structures and the sand in the ether dimension. 